Hello. I'm going to take a minute to go over a feature added to our latest release 4.47, which is our June 30th, 2024 release. Specifically, this is going to be for our folks that are using the production schedule, either through the production schedule uh, screen or the production calendar. It works in either place. Um, specifically, the use case that we have is we have certain clients that while they're scheduling, they may make notes on a batch or for that matter, a planned order, and they want those uh, notes to be able to be available for somebody to view on the schedule, but also uh, maybe even print on a batch ticket, etc. <clears throat> and it's a, a task that instead of when the batch is created, it might be during scheduling. Um, and uh, it's actually rather simple to do. You probably already know that if I uh, hover over a specific batch, my system is set up with a B colon uh, telling me it's a batch versus an FP, which is a firm planned order. Uh, if I double click here, it will actually open up the batch ticket itself, uh, which I could go and open there if I wanted to. It takes a little bit of time to do that. Instead, uh, made it a little bit faster and easier for you, just a right click and then an edit. And it's is bringing up the batch end items detail, not the batch header detail, but rather the end item. We had to put it there because the actual thing you're scheduling is end item output, uh, not just the batch running itself. So this is the notes that are editable. Uh, so you can go in and, and key whatever you want. There's not a limit on, on the space there, uh, but you can give us some descriptive text. Um, uh, you may want to then revisit your printed batch ticket uh, to to look and see where you want those notes placed. Um, but all the data is there, and it is the same data that existed on the notes field on a batch end item. It just, just makes it a lot easier for you to get to it. Um, you've always had the ability to do basically the same thing on a planned order because it's basically just bringing up the planned order setup screen, and uh, you can type in your notes here. So now we've kind of finished that loop of being able to enter notes while you're staying on the schedule without having to navigate into the batch, enter your notes, and then come back into the schedule. Uh, we foresee this uh, good for giving uh, the batch handler information about, say, what might be coming next. In other words, uh, there's going to be maintenance on this vessel uh, tomorrow, so go ahead and clean it all up uh, when you're done, that type of thing. Uh, so anyway, it uh, gives you a little bit of heads up on, on that. Note that the, uh, the same functionality is available on the production calendar. Uh, some people prefer to look at their schedule based on the calendar approach. Um, it's the same concept, just right click, goes to your edit and it brings up that same screen. So either place you want to access it in production scheduling, whether it be the production schedule screen itself or the uh, production calendar, uh, will make this happen for you. We hope this helps. Let us know this came from direct feedback from clients and we'd love to hear more that we might be able to help you with. Thanks a lot and have a great day.